بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم رب زدني علما okay the next thing we'll talk about something uh, called the certification uh, migrations like what if you have already passed uh, the existing cc np certifications or cci certifications then what will be your certification status like let's say if you are achieving any of the certifications before the february 24 you will automatically receive the equivalent new certification after the 24 date like if you are if you are passing your ccna certification let's say now routing switching then basically you get your new ccna certified status and if you are passing this exam let's say in 2019 then your certification status will be valid up to 2022 3 years uh, span the same so if you are already passing the cci security then you will get a certification status of the cci security the same track again of course the routing switching uh, it will show it may show as you know kind of enterprise track now so that's the status so even you don't need to worry about the existing certification status and every 3 years you have to recertify for all the tracks including the ccnp and cci tracks okay so what if i have passed the ccnp certifications uh, before this and let's say you have passed any one of this exam so cisco have a migration tool you can search for ccnp migration tool cisco ccnp migration tool you can click on this url to find some information here now depending upon the track you select let's say if you have already certified in ccnp routing switching then you can use this url and you can click on this options like these are the current tracks what present now for the ccnp before uh, this 24 now if i have passed already the ccnp route exam then after february 24 what i have to do so if you have already passed this exam then basically to get your ccnp enterprise certification now you have to pass you take the these exams you have to pass this one exam and additionally we have to pass any one exam from this list and what if i have passed two papers let's say just tick these two options then they will show you the option like if you have passed these two papers then you will be getting the specialist certification you will receive this cisco certified specialist and if you want to get your new ccnp enterprise then you have to pass any one exams you need to take any one of those exams normally any one exam you have to pass so what if i have passed all the three now if you have already passed all the three then your certification status will be changed to cisco certified specialist in the enterprise core and then cisco certified specialist in the enterprise advanced infrastructure implementation again you can just tick this option what if i have passed route and switch then basically you get this certification status like you get this uh, cisco certified specialist certification for enterprise implementation and also if you want to get your ccnp then you have to pass this exam so depending upon the tracks you have passed you can choose these options now the same thing applicable for any other tracks like if you are if you are already certified in some of the papers of the ccnp security then you can tick these options and depending upon that you have to you can see clearly what uh, what certifications you will be receiving and if you want to get the new ccnp certification then basically what are the exams you need to appear and pass in general okay so this is your ccnp migration tool uh, with the help of this tool you can figure out uh, this is more applicable for the people uh, who have already passed some of the exams and they want to figure out what is the certification status will be after february 2020 and if you are holding any C active cci certifications then basically the validity will be 3 years like previously the it will be like 2 years plus 1 year it will be in suspended state suspended is like you will not get the benefits of the cci certified options that is a difference and now it it will be no more there will it will be valid for 3 years normally so every 3 years you have to recertify okay, the next thing what if you have passed the cci written let's say i have already appeared for my 
a CCI written exam and maybe let's say I have appeared for CCI, CCI written routing switching track or any other track and if I'm unable to book, uh, schedule my lab exam uh, before February 24, 2020 then the same written is valid for scheduling the lab for the next after the based on the new track means whatever the relevant track like for the routing switching you can use it for cci enterprise also but make sure that whatever the valid period is within that period time like generally the valid period is 18 months for this written exam so ensure that you don't uh, cross that particular date so if you cross this particular date then basically that's that's not going to be valid again okay so if you are already written certified then you can opt for you can still schedule the lab for the new tracks whatever the relevant track over there.